as people of faith and conscience, believing in the sanctity of all life on this planet, we call for a Christmas truce. For a Christmas truce. For a Christmas truce in Ukraine. And the spirit of the truce that occurred in 1914. During the First World War, we urge our government to take a leadership role in ending the war in Ukraine by calling for a ceasefire and negotiated settlement. We pray they do this before more people are killed and wounded and millions more are displaced from their homes. Before the growing crisis in global hunger and poverty worsens and before the conflict results in a nuclear war that could devastate the world's ecosystems and annihilate and annihilate and annihilate all of God's all of God's all of God's creation 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 On Christmas Eve in 1914, a miracle occurred on the battlefields in Europe. It was an event so unique that many still don't believe it actually happened. Despite the existence of photographic evidence and eyewitness testimony. Accounts of the episode record that 100,000 German and British soldiers ceased fire and participated in a brief and spontaneous truce along the Western Front. Emerging from their trenches, the soldiers ventured into the no man's land where they shared food and drink. They sang Christmas girls and even played soccer together. That historic moment continues to reverberate in the collective imaginations over a century later. As the war in Ukraine rages on, countless thousands of civilians and combatants have already died and 14 million have been displaced. All the while, the potential for escalation and the use of nuclear weapons grows. Beyond Ukraine's borders, the impact is seen in rising prices for wheat, fertilizer, and fuel that are causing a growing crisis in global hunger and poverty. In this holiday season of peace, the Fellowship of Reconciliation has partnered with Code Pink, the National Council of Elders, and the Peace in Ukraine Coalition to gather interfaith, 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 Interfaith. Interfaith. Interfaith leaders to demand a Christmas truce be declared in Ukraine as soon as possible. We ask our government's leaders to use this spontaneous moment of reconciliation from over a hundred years ago as an inspiration to forge a different path today. A Christmas truce in 2022 could save lives and pave the way for critical peace talks. Whether it is Christians preparing for Christmas or Jews awaiting the celebration of the miracle of Hanukkah. All of the Abrahamic faiths around the world and other communities of faith and conscience embrace the prophetic voice of Isaiah, who exhorted us to transform swords into plowshares. The way out of the war in Ukraine will not, will not, will not, will not be a military solution. There is no way to peace. Peace is the way. And it requires powers of a different sort. Negotiation and imagination. Negotiation and imagination. Negotiation and imagination. Negotiation and imagination. As representatives of a diverse group of faith communities, we make this petition and pray that our leaders have the courage and conscience to use those powers instead. It is time for. It is time for. It is time. It is time for a Christmas truce. A Christmas truce. A Christmas truce. In Ukraine. In Ukraine. In Ukraine. In Ukraine. Now. 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 Now.